Welcome to class, everyone. Let's start standing up. We are going to quickly always kind of get into it because it's so cold. <laughs> I don't know if you're cold inside your house, but um, where I live is no insulation. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and stand with your feet hips width apart. Lift your shoulders up to your ears and exhale, roll them down your back. Good, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. So just standing up here, moving your shoulders up and down your back, noticing any cracks. Start to get into your breath. And then make these bigger, maybe bending your elbows a little bit. Nice, good. Get your whole body into it. And then eventually you'll start to move the elbows out more until you start this bigger motion. Awesome. Take up all the space, really maximize that range of your shoulders up and down. And then as you do this, make sure you're also still breathing through the movements. I know the arms can get a bit fatigued now, so inhale, We'll make the circles nice and big all the way up, down. Thanks, Alyssa. You can just hop right on in and rise up. And exhale, relax. Good. We spend a lot of time sitting down and just focused. So here in this next however long you can be here for this class, just focus on your breath and your movements. Alrighty. Good, inhale, reach the arms, connect your fingertips and interlace your hands. Leave the pointer finger out, take a side bend up and over to the right. And just straighten out through those legs. Take a big side bend. Awesome, inhale center and then over towards the left side. Keep those arms nice and straight if you can. Have your head inside in between your arms. Good, one more time each side, inhale and switch. Try to bump your hip that's out, bump it towards the side wall. Really good, keep both arms straight. Inhale up, nice, one more. Up and over, think of lifting the ribs away from the hips, just lengthening. Nice, inhale center, and then exhale, take your feet wider, find a big back bend. And slowly place your hand to your heart space. All right, now we'll move with some spinal movement now. Inhale, open up the arms, big back bend, giant earth hug, and then exhale, elbows in together, give your shoulders a hug, and then any amount of forward fold to really feel this back stretch. So depending on where you want it, if you want a more low back, you have to go lower. If you want a more mid back, you just go like this. If you want a more upper back, you just stay more upright. So kind of find the sweet spot. What's been annoying you? What's been causing you some tensions this week or this weekend? Good. And then inhale, big earth hug again. Open up the arms, chest expansion, gaze up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, hug your shoulders again. Take any amount of fold. So maybe you're all the way down here, that's more hamstrings. Here is more low back. There you go, feel free to tuck your chin into your chest. All right, inhale, big earth hug again. Arms up, open, chest wide. And then exhale, hand to your heart space. Good, from here, feet are still hips width, just sit down into a chair pose. Start to feel the glutes, the legs, yeah, shift the shins back, maybe lift your toes, maybe balance on your heels, play with it. And then get a little bit lower. And then inhale, rise all the way up. Big star pose with the arms. Stretch out fingers, underarms, everything. Open up the chest. Exhale, hands to heart, sit down, lowest chair pose you can. And then inhale all the way up. Big, big, big stretch. And exhale, crouch low as low as you can, that chair pose. Inhale, open up, star. Reach like you can reach both sides of your house. <laughs> Good. Exhale, hands to heart. Last one, inhale, stretch. 
stretch, extend, and sit down. Good. Inhale, rise. Hence your low back this time. Elbows back in space, full breath in. And exhale, press the hips forward. Now this is getting into the frontal shoulders, your chest, your back. Keep breathing. Little sips of air. And then very slowly rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go. So now in your forward fold, please bend your knees as much as you need. Focus on feeling the stretch in the hamstrings for this one. Listen to your back, how you're doing today, how your legs are. And then play with shifting your weight into your toes, back to your heels, finding a sweet spot in the middle there. Maybe you want to balance more on the arches of the feet here. Either way, keep spreading the toes. Maybe start to lift your glutes up to the sky, deepening that stretch. Really good. And then slowly bend those knees a lot, rise up, bone by bone, all the way up, arms overhead, and then hands to heart space. Alrighty, good. Then from here, take your right knee up. Start to circle your right knee outward. Good. Glad this knees are. <laughs> okay, I did not sneeze. <laughs> it wouldn't happen. Okay, circle this right knee out. Keep breathing here, feeling that glute engagement. Notice your core starting to strengthen. And then slowly release that right foot. Switch. Inhale the left. Keep your body, upper body steady. Just feel the motion through this left knee. Hopefully you're starting to feel like you're warming up, you're loosening up. Good, all right. And then inhale, release, right knee up. Extend your right leg while you lift your arms up to the sky, interlace your palms, inner palms point up. Good, it takes a little bit of that balance, coordination. Keep straightening up that right leg, doesn't matter how high it goes. Then exhale, swing the right leg back, reach the arms forward and just balance for a moment. Inhale, stand up, and exhale, release. Again, inhale the left knee, extend the arms up, then they're interlaced, straighten out that left leg. Good, now working the quad, finding our balance here, steady gaze forward. Like I said, doesn't matter how high it goes, we didn't train that yet. And then exhale, lean, slide the leg back. Good. All right, release, inhale the arms high. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale the right knee up. This time, figure four. Just nice and open with the hip there. Hands to heart space. Keep your forearms traveling towards your shin. You got it. Stay breathing. Lift the back of the head higher towards the sky, slight tuck in the chin. And then inhale, right knee up. Exhale, quick warrior three, just to flush it out. And then very slowly release. Good, inhale, the left knee up. Exhale, your figure four. And right away, feeling what you need in this moment. Maybe focus on your right big toe the right ball of your foot, focus maybe on the flex of your left foot or the depth of your right thigh. There, and then the ribs hug in. Awesome. Stay focused, stay balanced. Good work, inhale, left knee up. And exhale, quick warrior three. Extend the heel and rise up, inhale, feet down. And exhale, crouch and curl a little ball here. And then find again that spot on your back you want to focus the stretch on. You want it to be more middle back, move the fingers forward. Wherever you're looking, start to find a gaze right and left. Working on the neck there. 
in and slowly sit down onto your seat. Lift your knees up, find your boat pose right away. Good. Feel what it's like to balance on the top side of the glutes. Arms are forward. Good. Bring your chest forward more. <laughs> Bring your knees closer to your chest as you feel your core strengthen. Really good. Hands to heart. Maybe extend the legs out long. If it's early, I know. No worries. Bend the knees again. And then we'll just reach over to the left and then over to the right with both of your hands. Keeping your knees centered the whole time. We'll stretch it out, don't worry. Right, left, right, left, good, right, and then center. Take your feet together, knees out wide, and allow yourself to bow forward. Should be a very welcome stretch for your inner thighs and your low back. Find the pulsing motion of your chest forward so you can continue to deepen in the sensation that you'd like to feel here. Good, and then slowly extend the legs to a V shape in front of you, reach the arms high, and exhale, capture your toes. And then after this, we'll move to our downward facing dog slash cat cow. Warm up, but keep sending your sternum forward, your chest, pull onto your big toes, or all sets of your toes, as you allow your chest to go a bit lower, if that feels right. All right, cross the legs, plant the palms, find your cat cow now, now that we're nice and warmed up, inhale, lift your tail, lift your gaze, and exhale, round your back, curl in. One of my favorite grounding moments in our class. And then feel free to add on any circles, any motions with your hips, with your wrists. It's not so often we find ourselves here on the floor in our day to day. Just take a few more breaths there. And that's what I enjoy about it. It's very childlike very playful. Good. And then from here, before we move on to our downward facing dog, send the left leg back, bring your right knee into the center, left leg straight back, right arm forward. And just feel the lengthening of the spine, gaze down at your mat, reach the right fingertips forward, hold your balance nice and strong. Good. Feel the glutes activate, inner thighs, hamstrings, and let it go. Good. Replace that right knee with the left. Inhale the right leg straight back and send the left arm forward. Try not to let your ribs sag down. Hug it in. Good. Press the ground away with your right hand and then look straight down so the back of your neck is in line with the back of your head. And keep breathing. Lengthen fingertips, toes, and heel. Nice, nice inner thighs and let that rest. Good, one quick cow pose, inhale, and exhale, cat. Then move the hands forward, tuck the toes, let it lift it up, down dog. Feel yourself arrive here, pedal it out, bend one knee, bend the other. Yeah, really give yourself what you need Yeah, stretching out your hamstrings. For some reason, last Wednesday to this Wednesday feels like two weeks. I really miss you guys. And I don't know if your body feels that way, but just soak in this down dog, continue to stretch. Keep lifting those hips high. Send your palms flatter into the earth. And then if you can, You'll start to parallel your feet even more. Hide your heels behind your feet and strain out those arms, push the ground away even more. Good, inhale, shift to close. Stay strong here. Try not to let your core 
sink down or your glutes. Press the ground away. Nice, stay strong. Good, good, good. Lower the knees if you'd like, lower to the chest. And then let's all find our cobra pose. So whether you go onto the fingertips or your palms, find your king cobra. If that's a bit too much right now, do your lower cobra. Or just stay here for a few breaths, ironing out your back, maybe looking right and left, or perhaps pulsing up and down if that feels better. Good, good everyone. Just do your thing here for a moment. And then very slowly lift up to your knees. Go down to your elbows this time. Interlace them. And quickly find your forearm plank. So we're here just trying to center our bodies, our minds in this present moment. Good. Try to bring your elbows underneath your shoulders and try to really lift the midsection while you lower the glutes, while you keep your hamstrings engaged, your inner thighs active. Good. Keep it up. Three more breaths it up. Two more breaths. You got it. And then slowly lower down to your knees. Good work. Table. Rise up onto the shins. Inhale the arms high. And then exhale to our first camel pose of class. Just bend here through, or rather extend through the hip. Lift up. And then slowly, hands to heart. We good? Take a deep breath in. Cleansing breath out, let it go. Alrighty, so now step your right foot forward. Tuck your left toes. And then inhale, rise up, straighten both legs. Arms up overhead. We good? Exhale, lower, hover your left knee down. And then inhale, straighten up. Exhale, hover. Inhale, reach. Last one. Inhale, reach. Interlace your hands, look up, then bend your right knee, transfer your weight forward, find your warrior three. Here for three, two, one. Good. Hands down, lower your left knee to the ground, and then find your half splits. Take a moment, slide your right heel forward. Really Point your right toes to the ceiling even more. Awesome. Walk your right foot to the side. Quick hip stretch. Inner thigh groin. Won't be here for too long. Just two breaths. Good. And then peel away. Place your right knee down next to your left. Rise up. Arms overhead. Then bring your arms forward. Full inhale. And then exhale. Lean back. Keep everything engaged. Lean back core. Your spinal muscles are working. Good. Looking strong. Inhale, rise up. Hands to heart. And then get ready. Step your left foot forward. Tuck your right toes. Inhale straight up all the way to the sky. Yeah, that was nice. And then exhale, hover. Hands to heart. Inhale straight and all the way up. And exhale. Good, inhale, find your balance, find your focus, lower down. Good, two more, inhale, exhale, last one, exhale, good, inhale, then interlace your hands, straighten both legs, transfer your weight to the left, slowly bend the left knee, warrior three, here for three, two, one, hands to the ground, right knee down, and then to your half splits. Try to smooth that out. Flexing. Find your good posture here. Chest upright. Good. Left toes pointing straight up. Send your pelvis forward a bit. Full inhale. And then exhale. Walk your left foot to the left. Again, momentary hip stretch here. Just let gravity do the work as you use your hands as support. 
breathing. Alrighty, peel away, step back, left knee. Inhale, lift the arms. This time our camel pose once more. Press the hips, lift the chest. Good, gaze up, breathe. And slowly inhale upright. Exhale, child's pose, give yourself a break. You can take your forearms underneath your forehead here. Just soaking in our first pause of class before we move on some more. Good, inhale, rise. And then find your tabletop and then find your downward facing dog. Go for it. Alrighty, let's step up. Inhale, right leg high. And exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Good, inhale, right knee high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Stay here and then bring it to the right and then to the left. Good, right, left, right. Nice, left, good, right leg up and scorpion your leg. Just let yourself maybe find circles with your right knee. And then release the right toes to the ground. Find plank pose. Good, steady. We good? Awesome, lift your right arm high, side plank. You can add on here, find your tree if you'd like, if you're ready for that. Make sure your toes aren't on your knee directly. And exhale back down. Plank, feel those arms. Nice, exhale, downward facing dog. And other side. Inhale the left leg. Exhale, knee to chest, nose. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Try to touch. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, left knee, right. Stay here and then move your knee to the left tricep. Right. Good. Left. Woo. Right. Feel the burn. Right. Left. Sorry. Right and then left leg up. Open up your hip and shoulder, or not shoulder, sorry, just the hip. <laughs> Circle it out. Keep breathing. Feeling a really engagement of the arms and help plank. If you haven't got caught or caught, or caught a break yet, left arm high, side plank. Stay with it, this longer arm series here, and then find your true variation if that serves you. Good, 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 breathe. And exhale, plank. Lower down to the chest and the ground. Interlace your hands behind you and give the arms a rest in locust. Lift your chest, interlace your hands. Send your feet straight back and your hands back. You're doing good. Keep it up. And exhale, release. Good, hands down, rise up. Downward dog. Here we go. Inhale the right leg and then exhale straight forward. Stand up, rise up, crescent leg. Readjust yourself if you need. Spread your right toes. Lift up those arms nice and proud. Like you're finishing a gymnastic sequence, you know? <laughs> Good, get a bit lower. We good? And then scoot your left toes forward a bit more. Make sure you're firm on that right glute. Reach the right, or both arms forward. We'll inhale. And exhale, knee to chest, elbows to the sides. Good, inhale, extend forward. And exhale, lift. It requires a lot of balance. On this right leg, your glutes are fired up. If you want a different way, you can just rise up and reach forward, okay? If you don't wanna lift the leg. Or you can do a two, two step versus one. Good. Three more. One. Two. Good. And three. That was awesome. Inhale, rise. Crescent. Left hand to the right wrist. Take a side bend. And then land yourself forward into pyramid pose. 
I'm making these quick reps so that Melissa can do the other side. Plant the palms, three-legged chaturanga, please. Inhale, upward facing, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg, exhale, step. Rise up, press and lunge. Nice, feel your grounding here. Feel the left foot spreading wide. Elevate your arms, open up through the chest. Feel the hips sinking down and also stretching through that right frontal hip. Getting ready here. And then move your right toes slightly forward. Reach the arms forward. Getting ready. You know what to do. Full breath in and exhale. Hug in. Knee, elbows to the sides. Step back. Exhale. And like I said, you could do two. One, two, and up. Or you can just do torso. Good. You got four more here. Really good coordination and then functional movement. Inhale, rise up, press and lunge. Left hand to right wrist. Side bend. Inhale up and exhale, pyramid pose. Good job. Let it go. Inhale, walk the hands forward, tuck the left toes, three legged chaturanga. Inhale to your up dog. Cobra and exhale down dog. Good. Now that we find ourselves in down dog, let's go down to the elbows for our dolphin pose. First one of the day. So we're going to do something fun that we haven't done in a while. It's been a while. Okay, we're going to walk. It's a plank. Walk the feet back, chest forward, and then walk the feet in. For a dolphin. Alternate the toes that you use to step up. Yeah, good forearm planks. Now walk it up. A few more reps here. Just feeling these foundational yoga poses, but adding on some active movement with it. I know those arms are quite tired. Hold it in dolphin and stick. And then exhale, embryo pose, let it rest. So forehead down, arms by the sides. Knees together if you can. And slowly lift yourself up. Good. Counterbalancing that, take the hands behind you. Find a big chest expansion as you just lean back. You're sitting down on your heels or the arches of your feet. And very slowly rise up onto your shins. Okay, so now we're gonna try to do something a little bit more, a bit more than what we've been doing. Take your hands to your heart, rise up onto your shins. Okay, then step up with your right foot. Use your core strength. Okay, make sure that your knees are where you need them to be. Lean slightly forward with your chest. And then very slowly lift up your left shin, keeping your foot on the ground. Hold. Okay, so we're still on the ground here. Let me show you. Yeah, good, good, good. So lift up your left shin while keeping your left foot on the ground. Let's go here for three, two, one. Release, arms up. Take a twist, left elbow, right thigh. You can stay here on the ground or you can tuck the left toes and lift it on up for your revolve press and lunge. Take an extended arm variation, half bind, anything that works. Side plank. I mean, sorry, side crow, excuse me. Yeah, there you go. Next, slowly bring it down. Left knee comes down, arms up. We're gonna do that one more time. Hands to heart, lean forward. Make sure you're inhaling and then exhale, lift the shin slightly. Good, so much strengthening happening in the inner muscles. Let it go and open up into a modified warrior two, into a modified extended side angle. You should feel this right here, inner thigh. Inhale, 
Ooh, gate pose, left foot or left hand back, kind of like a reverse warrior. Exhale, hands down. Slide to your right knee back. Inhale, rise up on the shins and exhale, camel pose. Take a few side bends if you'd like, a few rotations with your torso, and then we will get into the other side. Alrighty, good. And then from here, preparing, step up with your left foot. So it's really important that everything is aligned for this since we're gonna go heavy into a balance. Full inhale, lean forward. And you want your glute to be so active here, left hamstring, full inhale, and then exhale, lean and lift. And what muscles working the most? Left glute, left hamstring, left quad and slowly let it go, inhale, arms high. Exhale, we go in for a twist. We're gonna do that one more time in a bit. And here you can fly the arms, you can tuck your right toes, side throw if you'd like, find your balance, stay steady. Good, full inhale. Exhale, release the knee arms high. Okay, we're going to do one more before we go into that open warrior two for a sec. Full inhale, lean forward, and go ahead, lift. Stay low to the ground. It's microscopic. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, good, good, good. And slowly release. Inhale, and exhale to your open warrior two extended side angle. Lean into your left thigh, feeling the inner thigh stretch here. And then the right hand cartwheels back, reach up and over. And bring yourself in and slowly bring that knee down. Rise up, arms up and exhale, hands to the low back for our camel. Maybe now you can, if you feel good, you can go down to the the feet, thumbs to the outsides. Keep breathing. And inhale, lift. Good, exhale, have a seat. Nice, one hand to heart, one hand to belly. We did a lot of active and muscle movements. Slowly sit down. Bring yourself to the middle of your space and Wrap your peace fingers around your big toe, take it up for your boat pose. One of my, and again, other favorite poses here, use the leverage of the arms and the legs. Nice, Parker. Good, good, good. Good, Leslie. Stay strong, lower abs engaged. Find that tipping point, not too far forward, not too far back. Good, keep pressing the legs and then bend the knees, stay lifted, arms overhead, and then hands to heart, extend the legs half boat, and stay here, twist left and right, good, super hard, left, right, stay on the sacrum, left, good, right, left, right, last, left, right, <laughs> Good, sit up. Alrighty, kick the other knees up. You guys are so strong. Now bend forward, now you can go deeper, maybe holding onto the thighs. Take your big toes and the balls of your feet together as well. Inhale, lift yourself up, and extend the legs straight ahead. Scoot your seat back. Inhale, reach the arms, and exhale, peace fingers to the big toes or the outer feet. Should be a giant hamstring stretch there. You should actually not be able to go down too far forward if your spine is really lengthened and your legs are straight. So keep breathing there. Work those knees down. Yes, encourage yourself to deepen the stretch even more. And then slowly hands behind you, bend your knees, plant your feet, Make sure your hands are aligned and then inhale, lift, reverse tabletop. 
Okay, so feel yourself floating, like you're floating in the ocean, in a pool, lean your head back, so hold it up, and exhale, slowly release your seat. Move your left foot to the center, like the knee earlier, then figure four, get ready, full inhale, exhale, lift it up. Figure four, <laughs> reverse table. If you want to play with your core, extend the right leg forward, hold it here, four, three, two, and one. Good, release, replace the right foot, left foot in to your figure four shape, full inhale, exhale, lift. Your triceps are working here, your chest is lifting up, glutes are working, and then extend that leg. Here for four, three, inner thighs, two, one, and relax. So good. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale, give yourself a big hug here. And however you want to organize your legs, maybe cross legs, let's work on the neck. Tuck your chin down. Then take it to the left, to the right, down, and then to the right, and to the left. And then now inhale, big earth hug, open arms, and switch the elbow that's on top. Bring your chest down, stretch one way, down, stretch the other, down, and then inhale, big earth hug, and exhale, hands to heart. So you can stay here for a moment. If you wanna rather be, up, but be upright like this, let's go into another boat pose. If you wanna get upside down like I'm going to show you here, we're going to go into a headstand. So we've worked a lot. If you're going to play with boats or you're going to go here, I showed you two different boat variations or you're going to play with a headstand of your choice. Any leg variation of your choice too. I highly recommend supporting yourself mostly with your forearms here. Beautiful. That was, that was close to the very good, very good. Trust in yourself. Keep breathing. Good, good, good. It's just that tiny bit of trust muscle. <laughs> Take a couple more boat practices. If you're upside down, let's go into a quick child's pose or you wanna play some more, go ahead. And everyone sit down, okay? Plant your feet on the earth like this, maybe a little bit wider, hips width. Okay, we've been preparing for this all class, full inhale. Stand up with no hands and rise up. You got it, you got it. <laughs> a little bit of momentum. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Good. And then very slowly release your hands by your sides, kind of chair pose. Hands to heart. Lift your right knee up. And exhale, figure, I mean, eagle pose, excuse me. Wrap your right leg around, right arm underneath. Keep your knees and your elbows centered so that right leg is on top, right arm under, and then you can go down sleeping eagle if you wish. And if you want eagle warrior three, gosh, our legs worked a lot today, and then very slowly let it go, inhale, arms up. Exhale, down to your chair. Inhale, the left knee up. And then exhale, let's go ahead. Wrap that left knee around your right. Left arm goes under, find eagle pose. And stay looking at one spot, otherwise if you look to right and left, you might fall. But that's okay if you do. And then very slowly, if you wanna go down to eagle, sleeping eagle, spread your toes. Great. Inhale, left knee back for your 
warrior three if you want. And exhale, release. Inhale, arms high. And exhale, hands to heart. All right, tree pose. Inhale, lift the right foot up. Arms out to a T. Interlace behind you, all the way up, anything that you want. Okay, and then we did this in the beginning, all right? Interlace your hands, please. Leave the inner palms up. Extend the knee forward and then the leg fold five. Lift it up four. Maybe it's higher. Three, two, good. One, hands down, leg down. And reset yourself, hands to heart. Inhale the left foot up, tree. Any arm variation that you want. If you want to challenge yourself, please to the sky. <laughs> Good. Interlace the hands now. Leave the inner palms to the sky and then send the knee forward. Extend the leg here for five. <laughs> Lift it. It's heavy. Keep it up. Three, two. Lift, shift forward. One, and release. All right, good. Now we'll give our bodies a nice release. Inhale, arms up, right hand to right foot. Connect your knees for more balance. Breathe in and exhale. Take into bow pose. You can dancers if you want. Whoa. Center. Play with it. Inhale, rise, arms up. That was good, and then switch. Left hand comes down and take a hold of your left. Nice posture. And slowly go into bow. Just play with your strength. And it's okay to fall if you do. And then slowly bring it down. Hands to heart. All right, now release your hands to the sides. Going back to the beginning, just roll your shoulders up and down. Chin down, take a few circles with the neck. Good. And then inhale, reach the arms high. Sit down in your chair, please. Step your right foot forward and then step your left foot outward. So find yourself in your goddess pose. Take your toes out, heels in, or anywhere between there. Get low. Good. Inhale, extend the arms. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Maybe pressing your knees outward each time. Inhale, last one. Exhale, lower and inhale up, point the toes forward, let's go, forward fold. Nice release here. Let yourself fully settle in. Anything you need here, twists. Interlace hands, Tandasana, prone frog, anything at all. Feels really nice to hang forward. Inhale, lift yourself up. Quick warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And then exhale, extended side angle. Just let yourself settle in. Should feel really nice for the inner thigh. As you twist, rather direct your body up or forward. And inhale, reverse triangle, right arm. Exhale, quick triangle pose. Nice and stretchy. Maybe lift that top arm if you want. Inhale, reverse warrior. You're gonna step the same way, so look down. Keep your right knee bent. Bend your left knee and chair. Good, Parker, that was nice. And then go ahead, keep that left knee bent. 
step your right foot, land in that frog pose. Cool, looking good. This time extend the arms out to side to side, to T, -t and then reach one way, reach the other as you get a bit lower each time. Working some obliques here, or glutes, <laughs> good. Just focusing on your physical and your breath. Good, stay centered, get low as low as you can, and then inhale, straighten the arms. This time, point the toes forward, interlace, find a chest expansion, hands behind your back, exhale, bow. Feel the release in the shoulders. And you can move the hands to the ankles now if you'd like. Or if you want, you can point your forehead towards your legs. Hands to hips, rise. Warrior two, left. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, nice. And juicy for this inner thigh, for your spine, your sides. Inhale, reverse triangle. And then exhale as gracefully as you can to triangle pose. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. And then just as you are, you'll look forward You'll bend the left knee, bend the right knee, and share. <laughs> Good. Last thing, crow pose. Plant the hands. You can do frog. We'll meet in frog, but find crow or frog. Last, just playful. Have fun with it. No worries. <laughs> I'm slipping. And frog. Good. Give your wrist a break. Honor yourself for showing up here giving it your all, and then very slowly, you can go down to shins or just sit straight down. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna go into our stretches. You can go into pigeon pose or seated figure four here. Whichever you like. Nice, because we're in figure four. If you are also in figure four, you'll go down a double pigeon and slide your left foot to the right. And then it's okay to have space here underneath your right thigh. Eventually you can stack your shins while keeping the right glute on the ground. Sit up tall, feeling the hip motion here, flex the toes a lot. If you're a pigeon, you will slowly switch. For those of us in double pigeon, you'll take the peace fingers to the big toe and into your boat pose transition. Yes, great. Good, good. Rely on the strength of the arms. You can press a bit more. And then slowly switch. Right foot down. Left ankle to right thigh, finding your, your seated figure four, maybe pump up your chest. Relax your face. And then very slowly, you'll slide your right foot to the left to find your double pigeon. If you're in pigeon pose, just hang out. And you can also put a block underneath your left thigh there if there's some space. For this one, I like to try to upright my spine. <laughs> So that the shoulders stack over the hips. Yeah, good. You guys are all doing it. And lovely work. All right. If you're in pigeon, rise up. Peace fingers to the big toe. Otherwise, extend the legs. Good. And then now let the legs go and lower to your half boat. Last bit of work here, breathe in. Exhale, knees into chest. Inhale, shift. Exhale, 
in, you know, and exhale, keep it up, we're almost done. Last four. Good, three. We're strong, two. And one. Good work, everyone. Shift forward. And then we're gonna play, actually, yeah, shift right now. Roll back and forth massaging the spine. And then very slowly, extend the left leg. Take your right foot into the left. There we go. And then lift up the left arm, going in for our seated twist. Feel nice and strong and lean and lengthen. Inhale up. And then chest press to the left. And slowly lift up. Switch. Right leg extends. Left foot to the right side of your right knee. Arms up, right arm. And right elbow to your left thigh twist. Good. All right. And then inhale, unwind. Chest press to the right. <laughs> Down and forward. And inhale, center. All right. Now you can lay down, take your Shavasana leg down, or channeling the energy of this class, you're gonna take Shavasana sitting up. So take your pick. We've stimulated our movement, warmed ourselves up. And then now it's time we're gonna find stillness here. Feel your breath. Have the palms face up to receive, palms face down for grounding. Notice what happens when you cease to move. So that cessation of movement here. Knowing that both is okay. Rest and active. Work and rest. Sit a little bit taller. Let the breath travel up and down the channel of your center column. Relax your eyes, relax your face, relax your jaw. Let the breath be soft and easy. And feel the gentle rise and fall of your chest with every single breath. Very gently switch out the legs, keep the eyes closed. And place one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Just fully embrace where you are in this moment. Breathe into your bottom hand to the belly. You're welcome to take as much time here seated. If you're ready to move on, you'll slowly take a deeper breath in and a cleansing breath out. And slowly allow light in, blink the eyes open, inhale, reach the arms high. And exhale, quick side bend one way, doesn't matter which one. Inhale, center, and then other side. Namaste. Hope you guys feel good. And that was a suited winter movement flow. <laughs> winter in San Diego, right? <laughs> it exists. <laughs> Thank you guys. Enjoy. Eat some warming foods.